Hello and welcome everyone to my class. I hope you all are doing great. So the topic that we are going to study in today's session is the most versatile, is the most important topic in biology. Without this topic, we can't even imagine to study biology. It is impossible, right? So the name of the topic is cell. So are you all excited? So before moving further, let me first quick introduce myself. My name is Kirpin I am from Bodhura Gujarat. I have done my post graduation in medical power technology. Uh, from MS University Maharaja Sayaji Rao University. Uh, I have two years of work experience in the healthcare sector and I have also one year of uh, experience as a tutor. I am a subject matter expert in biology. So, without any delay, let's get started. So, this is the index of today's session that we will study. First, we will study body cells, then, we will study different types of cells and their organs, then, we will study cell division process by which new cells are formed, right? So, body cells. So, in a world, there are living things as well as non-living things. Have you ever wondered what makes the living things different from non-living things? The answer to that is cells. So cells are the structural and functional unit of life, right? So each and every living organism in this world are made up of cells. They are the building blocks of any organism, right? So just like a uh, brick together form a structure of an entire house. Similarly, the cells unite to form a whole organism, right? Now. Cells are so minute that they can be seen with naked eyes. So now a question is if they are so minute, then how are they invented, right? So back in the year 1665, uh, Robert Hooke was studying a cock which is a part of tree and he observed a humming honeycomb structure having tiny compartments and he named them as a boxes of cell, right? Now later in 1674, scientists named Louis Hawk studied three living cells in pond water. Later, two scientists named uh, Scriden and Swan proposed a cell theory according to which all plants and animals are made up of cells, right? And new cells originate from pre existing cells, right? Now, later, with advancement in technology, uh, electron microscope was invented, and with the help of uh, which it was observed to uh, study and understand the complex structure of cell and its organelles. Now, let's study cell types. So, Cells came in variety of size, shape, and function. So there are basically two types of cells: prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. So prokaryotic cell organisms are made up of just one cell. So they are also known as unicellular organisms. Right? Example: bacteria, virus, protein, algae. So prokaryotic cells are considered to be the most or, uh, ancient uh, organisms, right? In this world, they have fossil record of around 3.5 billion years ago. We can say that life originated from there. So. Uh, they have adjacent way before dinosaurs, right? So, uh, this is the structure of prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are very small, they are simple and grow more rapidly compared to eukaryotic cells, right? So, the prokaryotic cells is surrounded by three layer membrane. The outer membrane is known as capsule, which is a protective coat, right? Which protects the cells and it also prevents the phagocytosis, a process where other eukaryotic cells engulf the bacteria. The membrane just below this capsule is known as cell wall, right? The cell wall gives strength and protects the uh, bacterial cell, right? And it also helps to, to give the shape to the bacterial cell. The next membrane is the plasma membrane, which is just below the uh, cell wall, right? So plasma membrane uh, controls the entry and exit of certain molecules, so it is also known as uh, oxidatively perturbable membrane, right? So uh, prokaryotic cells don't have a nucleus. So the genetic material which is nuclear is uh, naked and not covered by any nuclear envelope, right? So some uh, the uh, bacteria have also small circular DNA around from this area, which is known as plasma, right? The next is the cytoplasm. So, so the fluid inside the cell is known as cytoplasm. It helps the cells to maintain its shape, right? The next is the pillars. So the hair like appendages on the surface of the capsule is known as pillars, which helps the bacteria to attach itself to the other organisms, right? So next is the flagella. So the bacteria are put as motile and non-motile. So the uh, bacteria uh, which are motile have flagella, so which helps them in, uh, in uh, locomotion to move, right? So the next is the eukaryotic cells. So eukaryotic organisms are the organisms that are made up of more than one cell. So they are known as multicellular organisms. Example, plants, animals, humans, right? You and me. So let's have a structure like animal cell and plant cell. So the structure of animal cell and plant cell is almost similar except two or three things, right? So the animal cell is surrounded by an outer membrane known as plasma membrane which protects the cells and, it, and its organelles from the heart's environment, right? So the plasma membrane is made up of lipid and protein, right? So the plasma membrane is also known as selectively permeable membrane because it controls the entry and exit of selectively uh, materials, right? So it acts as a watchman. 
So the entry and exit of the materials through the plasma membrane occurs in two ways. One is passive transport and another is active transport. So in passive transport, the molecules such as uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide moves through the process uh, of diffusion, right? Where they move from high concentration to low concentration. They are also known as osmosis, right? So consider a slope that if a car wants to move from a uh, slope from high side to lower side, it will move automatically without any acceleration, right? So uh, next is the active transport. So in active transport, uh, some molecules move across that uh, against that uh, concentration gradient, right? And they require energy for that, right? So consider the same scenario: a slope. Uh, if a car want to move from lower side of the slope to the higher side of the slope, it needs constant acceleration throughout the slope, right? So energy is being utilized. So this is the active transport. For example, sodium will be something, right? So next is the cytoplasm. So the fluid inside this cell is cytoplasm in which all the organelles are present. And the function of cytoplasm is this protects the uh, cell from the mechanical or uh, uh, damage, right? And it also helps the cell to maintain its uh, safe, right? And it also stores the molecules which is necessary for the cellular processes, right? The next is the nucleus. The nucleus is the core or heart of the cell, right? It contains the most important thing known as chromosome, which have uh, genetic information in the form of DNA, right? So the DNA contains information like what type of hair you will get, or hair color, uh, eye color, right? So the DNA also plays a crucial role in cellular reproduction, and it also helps in structuring and organizing the cell, right? The next is the uh, this ribosome. So the ribosomes are the tiny cell organs present in the cells. So they are known as the manufacturing factors because they carry out the manufacturing of the protein, right? So what they do is they read the mRNA and translate them into proteins and send them to the requirements of the cells, right? Next is uh, endoplasmic reticulum. So the endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane bond tubules and sits which looks like a long tubule or round or oblong uh, vesicle bag, right? So the uh, endoplasmic reticulum transport the materials across the cytoplasm or between the cytoplasm and the nucleus. So the endoplasmic reticulum are of two types, rough and smooth. So the uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum have ribosome attached to it, right? So they are known as rough and the uh, uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum don't have ribosome on the surface. So they are known as smooth, right? So the function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum is they carry out the manufacturing of fats and liquids which is essential for the cellular processes, right? The next uh, is the mitochondria. So the mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell because it generates the energy in the form of ATP adenosine triphosphate, which is necessary to carry out the various cellular activities of life, right? Various chemical activities of life. So the mitochondria have two surfaces, outer and inner membrane. Outer membrane is porous and inner membrane is deeply folded because it increases the surface area for ATP uh, for, to generate various chemical reactions, right? So the next is the Golgi apparatus. So the Golgi apparatus is a system of membrane bond vesicles which are arranged parallel to each other in the form of stack known as system, right? So the uh, what this Golgi apparatus do is uh, they receive the protein from the ribosome, carry their storage, modification, and packaging, and send them to the required regions of the cell. So they are also known as post office, right? And it also plays a crucial role in formation of lysosomes. So the next is the vacuoles. So the vacuoles are basically storage bags to store the liquid and Solid content, right? So, vacuole in animal cell is small and in plant they are very big. So, the central vacuole in plant occupies 50 to 60 percent of the uh, air cell volume, right? And they are filled off a sap, so which helps the uh, 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 plant cell to keep it turgidity and uh, rigidity, right? And it also stores the certain uh, molecule of uh, substances like amino acids, then protein, then sugars, right? The next is the lysosome. So lysosome is basically the waste disposal system of the cell. So lysosome is a membrane bond uh, vesicle uh, sac which is filled off digestive enzyme. So when uh, this digestive enzyme digests a foreign body or also the old or uh, worn out uh, cell organelles and break them into simple substances from complex substances. This lysosome is also known as suicidal bag because when the uh, cell gets injured during the cellular metabolic uh, processes, uh, the lysosome uh, bag got caused and digests the own cells. So it is known as suicidal bag, right? So the next uh, is the plastic. So plastics are uh, present in the plant cell and they are absent in animal cells. So there are three kinds of plastic. Chromoplast, chloroplast and leucoplast. So chromoplast and chloroplast contain a 
pigment, color pigment, right? And the leucoblasts don't have any pigment, so they are colorless. So uh, chloroplast contains a green pigment known as chlorophyll because of which plant and egg use appear green, right? And it also uh, plays a crucial role in photosynthesis, right? So these are the different types of cells that are found in human bodies, bone cells, foam cells, nerve cells, which are brown and branch and long. This is the columnar epithelial cells which are long and uh, narrow. This is the own smooth muscle cells, RBCs which are round and biconcave, right? So the next is the cell division. So the process by which new cells are formed from the old cells, they are known as cell division. So there are basically two types of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. So in mitosis, cells divide in order to grow or to replace old or damaged cells or tissue. So in mitosis, the mother cell divides to give rise to two daughter cells and these have, daughter cells have equal number of chromosomes as compared to mitos, uh, mother cell, right? The next is the meiosis. So in meiosis, the specific reproductive organs of plants and animals undergoes division to form gametes which after fertilization give rise to offspring, right? Now mother cell gives rise to four daughter cells having half the number of chromosomes than that of the uh, mother cell, right? So let's summarize today's session. So first we study what is cell, then how they how are they invented, right? Then we study cell types and cell organelles. So prokaryote, we study prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells, different between them. Then we study the uh, structure of animal cells and plant cells. Then we study uh, cell division, how new cells are formed, right? So in the next session we will study deeply about the various cell organelles and also about the genetics, DNA, chromosome, right? So that's all for today. See you. Take care. Bye bye.